In this session we're going to look at making a connection to our SQL database that we made in a previous tutorial. If you need information on this, have a look in the comments below and you can go back and review previous videos. But what we'll do very quickly is go into phpMyAdmin. You may have to log in with the username root and no password or use the root or the root username and password that you may have created before. If we have a look at LDAP, this is the database that we're going to talk to and have a look at the information in the table. You'll notice that we only have two fields, username and user password, and there's approximately 100 rows in our database. So let's head back to our PHP and start with by making connection. Now to do this, I'm going to start by creating a folder first of all. And I'm going to call this login system. Now you can make the folder anything you like. It could be the name of the project that you're working on. And I'm going to create a file. This file is actually going to be called functions.php. Now all files that we're going to make are going to be PHP files generally. So make sure you declare them here. And then when you click on OK, it should create this with inside our login system folder here. Now one of the first things we need to do is actually start by declaring that we're going to be using some PHP. So we start with an open bracket, a question mark, and then PHP. So this opens up our PHP section. Now what we want to be able to do is create a session, and we want to start this session. Once we've done that, we're going to declare some functions. Well, for our login, there's only going to be one function, but if we're creating a site, I can actually encapsulate all my functions in one file and refer back to this file. So the very first function we're going to declare is actually our connection function. So we're going to use the word function, and then we're going to have connection, and then bracket, bracket, and then we're going to open a brace, and then we're going to close our function off with a closed brace. So this is our function name, and we'll be able to call this whenever we want to connect to our database. So once we've done that, we need to set a variable. To declare a variable, we use a dollar sign. And we're going to call this the first variable DB. And the under part of this is host. So the sub part is host. And this is going to be our local host. Now we also need DB dollar sign once again. So our DB underscore name and this is the name of our database so in our case LDAP for our usernames and passwords then we need our user and that's going to be equal to root and in this case here because our root is our default user into our database. Later on when we go live we would actually remove that, actually have administrator password that we could log in as the developer, but we could also actually have a guest username and password, which my guest may not have a password, and then they can log in as a guest and we can control their access and what they act and where they're able to go in the database. But the very last thing we need to do is set a, a password and we leave the database blank at the moment. Or the we leave the database password blank at the moment so it's easy to log on. And once again, you'll change this if you're actually going to a live database. So what we now have is all the parts that we need to log on to our database. We have the local host, the name of the database, the username and the password to log on. So what we now want to do is try We'll open the brace and close the brace. And what we want to try, and when we do log on, we actually want to store the information and return that we have logged on. So we'll use a dollar sign, DB, and that's going to be equal to a new PDO, which stands for PHP data object. So we're starting a new PHP data object. And what's that going to be? Well, we're going to have a MySQL and that's going to be of a host. What is the host? Well, the host at the moment is dollar sign db underscore, and we're going to start with host. 
semicolon, and then we're going to have our DB name, which is going to be our dollar sign DB underscore name, and then we're going to have a comma, and then we're going to pass the DB username, which is user, comma, and then we're going to pass the DB underscore password. And close the brace and make sure you've got a semicolon on the end. So we're going to take the username and password for this database located on this local host and we're going to produce the PHP data object and it's going to be a new one of those and we're going to store the result of that in dollar sign DB. Now once we've done that we need to actually return the information. So when you've logged on we need to notify the user or the developer that you've logged on. So we're actually returning the information that we that's come back from the database. So if the username and password is wrong, we would get an error message. In this case here, we want to pass back the connection. So we're ensuring that the connection is there. Now, if that doesn't work, we can actually catch some information. So we can use the word catch. So in a way, it's like the um, else part. So if we log on, great, return the da database connection. But if we don't, we need to catch something. What we want to catch is the PDO exceptions. So we want to catch those exceptions if there's a problem logging on. So maybe they've got the wrong username or the password, etc., and send that back to us. And when that does come back, we want to echo, which is basically to notify the user, output to the document. And we can notify the error um, and then we can actually let them know what error it is. So we'll use the dollar sign E where we've caught the exemption and we can get the message from the exemption there and display that to the user. And once we display that to the user, we want to die. And what we want, what we mean by die here is means turn the connection off. So turn the connection off after you notify the user what the problem is. So I'm just bringing this bracket up. So this creates a connection to our database. So once we've done that, we can test it by clicking on the little play button here, which is the run project, or I'll call it the playhead in some of my videos. So click on the run project, and you'll notice the first thing it does is takes us out to a document. You can see the folders, we're in login system, and we have function PHP. So we'll click on this. Now there's no errors in our processing. So now what we need to do is create a query to actually call our connection because it's residing inside a function to actually test this. So what we might do to test this function without writing a query is we'll remove the function brace around it. And I'll just save this and run the connection as a hard connection to the database. And there's no return on that at all. So we've connected correctly. So let's now go give it a different username. So let's give it something like Marsden. Save that and refresh. And now we've got an error coming back from the database saying no user password and letting us know that we can't log on to the database. So we've tested our connection and we know that it connects happily. And we've also made an error in our connection so that we're getting the catch section of our connection working. Once we've done that, remember to return this back to root and also embed it into a function again. So once you've returned this back to its original state, we are now ready to go and create our SQL requests and call this function to carry out our connection to the database.